Y'all know what it is. Barcode in the building. Let's get right into this news. Talking about, talking about, y'all know what it is, Mr. 43, Lil' We Low Key, Sneakers on Crack, Yankee Turn, back, holla at your boy for another episode, another story, another, you know what I'm talking about, is going down, take control of your seat, cause a lot that happened this week, now I'm talking about, talking about, man, oh man, oh man, Pooh Shiesty, denied bond, he got his bond revoked. $30,000 bond. My man's is in jail in Florida. I guess he was at a strip club. Um, shit money fell out of his pocket. And then while he was trying to get it, I guess his gun fell out and went off and shot the security guard in the leg. And now he's being held on a whole lot of charges. It's just ridiculous. This man is facing 20 years minimum. 20 years minimum. I'm, 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 whew, niggas is getting money and still going to jail, man. You know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about, like, that shit crazy. They just, the FBI just called, uh, NBA young boy, his investigation never free again. Like, they making fun of us, y'all. Like, they, they clowning us, man. Like, we getting all this money and still doing the same shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that was Pooh Shiesty fault, but we doing the same motherfucking shit over and over and over again. Now, NBA young boy, they trying to say that, they, that nigga never coming home again. That shit, I'm, I'm sick of it. I don't know if y'all is or not, but I'm 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 plain fuck sick of niggas going to jail. I'm sick of niggas dying. I'm sick of I'm sick of all this shit. Time about get your shit together. Get your ducks in a row, motherfuckers. You know what I'm talking about talking about uh Lil Dirk brother got shot in the head. May he rest in peace. You know what I'm talking about talking about. May he rest in peace. My man got shot in the head on Saturday at this club. You know, people trying to say Dirk album just came out and he dissing all these people and he's doing this and he's talking about this and still dissing FBG Duck and you know what I'm saying? So that's what they saying they got the nigga brother because they couldn't get to him. It's just a lot of crazy shit going on. I'm telling you, man, I'm sick of niggas dying. R.I.P. to your family. Fuck 6 9 for chiming in and all the shit that he had to say. I don't give a fuck what you smoking on, nigga. I hope you choke and motherfucking not wake up from it. My personal. My. Fuck you. I give a fuck about no 6 9 R.I.P. to that man. Condolences to the family. Fuck that rat. Uh, speaking of little Dirk. There's a goon in Atlanta that has banned Lil Baby, Lil Dirk, and Pooh Shiesty from Atlanta because I guess they apparently stole $60,000 from this nigga. You know what I'm saying? So let's take a listen to this nigga rant real quick and find out what the fuck going on. Hey, what the fuck does your shorty got to do with it, man? I'm not your motherfucking business. But anyways, I guess they owe this man some money, and he trying to ban niggas from coming back to the town. I don't think any of these niggas care, because Pooh Shiesty in jail. Lil' Baby getting money. Lil' Dirt going through what he going through, and he lived there. So, nigga, you ain't, I don't think you banning nobody, nigga. My personal opinion. I don't, I don't see niggas come want to come back. They gonna come back. What you gonna do, nigga? Like you don't own the whole fucking city, nigga. I'm sick of niggas talking about they gonna cancel somebody. Um, the internet's canceling this person. Twitter's canceling. Instagram's canceling them. We're canceling this person. You ain't canceling shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Niggas still gonna do the what the fuck they want to fucking do. 
just like you know, what's his name? The the white boy, whatever. What I remember is that nigga from Jack Harlow. I'm pretty sure he can go back home now after the niggas banned him. You know what I'm saying? That shit wasn't his fault. You know what I mean? But niggas say they banning motherfuckers from coming back to their own motherfucking city. I'm sick of this shit. Uh, some someone paid eighteen thousand. Let me get this right. Eighteen thousand dollars for an invisible sculpture. Yeah, I said it right. Eighteen thousand dollars for an invisible sculpture. The artist said, "Let me quote him on this." The artist said that the sculpture does not physically exist. It doesn't mean it's nothing. What the fuck you talking about, bro? I can imagine the dopest sculpture on my head and put a fucking stand and say, this shit is the hottest shit ever, nigga. You need to buy it. Motherfucker just paid $18,000 for somebody's imagination. That's how easy it is to get money out here. $18,000 for somebody's imagination. My blunt went out. Imagine I got an invisible motherfucking lighter and this shit came back by a goddamn self. And I'm talking about, talking about, y'all niggas crazy. Um, Jim Jones is feeling salty about the top 10 list that's been put out for 2021 because he is number 10. He feels that he should be number, you know, at least top three. But J. Cole, Lil Baby, and Lil Wayne are top three. So, you know, I mean, Jim, we, you, you, you 40 years old and you still on the list. Like, you should be happy, sir. Like, I'm not knocking it. The fact that you on there is cool with me. You know what I'm talking about? Talking about? Uh, but Machine, Conway the Machine, out of Buffalo, Griselda Blanco is number four. This nigga said, and he tweets, I see all these rappers have a problem with the list. Just at me or DM me if you got, if you want to smoke. He said that goes for anybody. If you want to smoke, DM Conway the Machine about the list or you know, whatever. You know what I'm talking about? He just said niggas want to smoke. So I'm guessing he's talking about Jim Jones or whatever. I'm not the mediator, creator of no motherfucking beef. But I'm just saying, that's what the nigga has said. You got smoke about the list. Hit that nigga. You know what I mean? Machine gun, machine, I mean, Conway the machine, he go. I'm not going to knock his flow. I'm not going to, you know, we talk out the side of his face and all that shit happen. You know what I mean? That nigga still got, you know, spittums. So, it is what it is. Jim Jones, don't be salty, nigga. You on the list. There's a lot of niggas that want to be on the list that ain't on the list. So, chill out, nigga. Um, let me tell you about this shit. States are giving out incentives for the vaccine. You heard me right. Somebody in Albuquerque just won a million dollars of a lottery for the vaccine. Because they got a, the vaccine, they won a million dollars. Uh, some states are giving out scholarships. Some states like uh, what is it? Ohio has a lottery. Colorado offering 25 scholarships worth $50,000. West Virginia is giving out guns. West Virginia's giving out five rifles and five shotguns if you get the vaccine in their state. So if you need some guns, go to motherfucking West Virginia, be a resident, and get the vaccine. You don't get 10, 10 free guns, big B. Crazy shit ever. I'm going to give you guns if you get this shot. And now I'm hearing, which ain't brand new news, but I'm hearing that male hearts are, you know... They, they flaming up inflammation of the heart because of this vaccine. I have not got it yet. I did not try to get it. Don't want to get it, but I need to get it. I might get it. I don't know if I'm going to get it. See, I'm up in the air about it myself. So, um, I'm just saying, there's some incentives out there. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of states giving the craziest incentives. 
if you get the motherfucking vaccine. I ain't got it yet. I done been tested many times. I'm not about to get it now. So, if you win, let me bar down. Uh, Jay-Z and Meek Mills, among others, chipped in to buy Michael Rubin, the motherfucking owner of the uh, Patriots, a blue drop-top Bentley for his 80th birthday. Yeah, you heard me. This nigga date y'all New York. Fuck Boston like that. I love Boston. You know I love them. I got some people from Boston, but I'm just saying it. Boston Red Sox nigga, that that motherfucking Green Wall nigga. We don't like that shit, nigga. No shit. We don't like that shit, nigga. But then, nah, nigga. We don't like that shit. But they bought the owner or chipped in to get him a top drop top Bentley at 80 years old. The fuck does he need with a drop top Bentley? And why doesn't he already have one if he wanted one? Because he got the money for it. The motherfucker's been winning for years. Now I'm telling my time out. Uh, what else I got for you? Kevin Durant confirms that he has signed Rory and Maul to his podcast. Let's listen to Kevin Durant real quickly as he as he explains the situation. Now I'm talking about. I mean, I understand it. I mean, if you feel the connection is there, you know, so it's just something that had to happen. It's just something that had to happen. So, Joe Button, you lost out on, you know, you know what these niggas bring to the table. You heard Kevin Durant. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. So, shout out to Ma, to, to Maul and Rory for, they, you know, getting another podcast and, and getting that bag. And, and shout out to Joe Button for losing some bags. And probably his podcast and whatever the fuck else. You might got some loyal fans out there, but we don't give a fuck, nigga. Pump, 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 pump me up. I don't give a fuck. Uh, shout out to you, Joe Button. You lost. Uh, police chase ends and one pregnant woman flipped over in the car. Now, all she was trying to do was pull. She didn't feel it was... Uh, safe to pull over on the shoulder, especially her being black, but she's pregnant. She didn't feel it was safe to pull over on the shoulder, so she was going to go to the nearest exit. And two minutes into this chase, the motherfucking cop pit maneuvers this woman and flips the car over, and she's screaming, I'm pregnant. All she wanted to do was be safe. Nobody wants to get pulled over on a dark freeway anymore by a popo it might not even matter what color you are no more it's just we don't want to do it so you know what i'm saying if, if you if we go into a lighted area try to understand that's why we go into a lighted area you know what i'm saying like we don't feel safe with y'all motherfuckers no more whatever as black men you know what i'm saying as black people as a minority you know what i'm saying some white people you know what i mean but we don't feel safe with y'all so if we might go a couple minutes and we trying to pull, uh, trying to pull and find a good place to pull over where it's light and people that they can see, you know what I'm saying? I might got my hands up and can't I can't prove that I got my hands up because I ain't got my videotape on. You know what I mean? So it's my word against yours, and of course you're gonna win unless you got the body cam off. But it may malfunction as usual, as usual. But I'm saying, just saying. You got to understand that sometimes. I understand the man behind the badge sometimes. So understand the person that is behind the color of the skin that you hate so much sometimes. Because we, we ain't going nowhere. Get used to us. Uh, what else I got? Uh, 
Kanye West doing his thing. I guess he been fucking with this model shorty for a minute. And I guess, you know, he was already done with the divorce, the, the marriage, maybe before it was even over. I'm not going to speculate nothing and say Kanye West was doing absolutely anything. I'm just saying. They were seen together in France. They were seen together and, you know, they got pictures and such. Shit happens. But Kanye seems happy. Celebrated his birthday with this shorty. Kim sent out a tweet that she got mad love for the nigga. I don't know if she knew about the situation when she sent out that tweet. But I hope everybody wins in the end and nobody's losing or going through anything. You know, I don't want nobody to lose or go through anything or, you know, the kids. You got to think about the kids. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, Snoop Dogg has accepted the role of Def Jam as executive creator and strategic strategic consultant. Shout out to Snoop Dogg. You know what I'm saying? Do your motherfucking thing, boy. You know what I'm talking about? Talking about? Uh, TikTokers versus YouTubers is going to happen June 12th. Who you got? I don't know. I don't know many of the TikTokers. I know these most of the YouTubers. I don't know a lot of the TikTokers, but I'm not going to knock the TikTokers. I just don't know them. But I'm pretty sure I, from the YouTubers that I've seen, I'm going with the YouTubers. That's just, you know, my pick. It doesn't have to be set in stone. I could actually watch this shit and see the TikTokers might got some big ass nipples. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and do his thing. You know what I mean? And... Hunter Biden, our president son, our president son, just days after Biden's speech about racism and how we should come together and all this, uh, text messages are found to this man's lawyer from Hunter Biden and addresses him as a nigga. Like, my nigga, you my nigga, uh... How much money am I going to owe for this, my nigga? Like, and he said it a lot. Like, it, I don't even know if it was a joke playing around or that's just how he talks. He wants to be black. Everybody want to be a nigga, but nobody want to be a nigga. I don't know. I don't know. I, I just gathered the news. I'm saying Hunter Biden, our president's son. I'm not going to call you racist because I'm not saying that you're a racist. That's. It really doesn't mean you're a racist. It means you might be like Malibu. What is that? Malibu's most wanted? You might think you that dude until you get a realization and be around some real bros and realize it's not what you want. Maybe you need just a reality check. I mean, everybody goes through it. I've seen Tom Hanks, son. I've seen a bunch of people, people, you know, that think they want to be black. And i even seen black people that are not from the hood want to go, you know, they from the hood. Now, they, they move to the hood. Like, I don't get that shit, nigga. If you're not from the hood, then you already escaped and you're doing better than most black people today. Why would you... I was born in the suburbs, and my mom's a doctor, and my dad's a lawyer, but I'm just going to move to the blood hood because I want to be one. Makes no sense. Gang members are usually ones because they're born into it, or they got to be to survive the neighborhood, and if they grow up and make it past 18, then these niggas, you know, they usually get a job and start doing for their family, and they may have the remnants of the tattoos, but you can't judge a book by its cover, big beep. Because some of the finest men I know got t- tattoos all over their motherfucking face. And they Mexican. Shout out to my brown people. You know what I mean? So I'm just saying. Don't judge a book by its cover. Talking about, talking about. Uh, I don't even. It's just been a crazy week, man. We gonna get back at you. My bad, my energy a little low tonight. I'm a little tired. You know, nigga work. Got a whole lot going. We got this podcast going. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be right back at you next week. We're going to have a full staff. We might even have a guest. You never know. Uh, I might have this little 
book coming out. But stay tuned, you know. I got I got a few things cooking up, you know. Please and continue and thank you for the support for y'all looking at, you know, listening to the podcast and all the the, the support y'all giving me on my music. I appreciate y'all so much. Shout out to the 505. Shout out to New York. Shout out to LA. Shout out to North Carolina. Shout out to Virginia. Shout out to Texas. Shout out to anywhere my people and my blood is at. Base. You know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about what? Barcode in the building. Y'all know what it is. Why on it?